Hi guys, Rob 46 here, welcome yourselves back to TT Alamand Ride on the Edge 2 on the Xbox One X. It is time, it's classic TT time, so we're going straight into it because this is going to be a long video. Four laps around here. Um, I know I'm going to crash at some point, it's bound to happen. Um, and here's a fun fact, I've not actually done a full lap of the TT course on this game yet. So this first lap is going to be my first full lap of the TT course on the game. So... Um, yeah, I know it's it's not going to be great, my lap times, but um, the only thing I've done is I've done a few sections, obviously, in career mode. I've not used this bike around here at all. Uh, the only thing I've done just before I've done the race is I've done the last section of the course just so that I could remind myself where the pin, pit entrance was so that uh, I don't end up missing it in the race because we don't want to do that otherwise we're going to run out of fuel so yeah this is lap one um like i said i'm expecting myself to crash at some point but hopefully it won't be too bad hopefully it won't be too painful to watch either but i have to wait and see this is uh another weird thing i have to do is the way i've got my um setup and my laptop um basically when i record a video my laptop's got two hard drives um it's got a smaller one and a bigger one and i can't record straight to the, the bigger hard drive which is a one terabyte hard drive because for some reason it makes the footage stuttery so it just stutters and doesn't look great so i have to record to the smaller hard drive and then basically transfer it over to the the bigger hard drive and it's fine so the only downside to that is that the maximum I can record on the smaller hard drive um, before the hard drive is full up is about an hour. So what I'm going to have to do in this race is about halfway through I'm going to have to pause it, transfer the video file over to the other hard drive, then delete the original video to free up some space off the smaller hard drive, and then obviously resume the race so i am going to end up having a little break during this race probably when we go into the pit so it should be fine um and yeah that's the only way i can do it at the moment so yeah i have tried um recording straight to external hard drive as well but it seems to have exactly the same problems it just the, the the raw footage just seems to stutter it doesn't like recording to an external hard drive which is weird but it is what it is um it doesn't usually affect my videos too much um but considering this is going to be a very very long race uh it's only you know it's going to happen so i've already planned it out when i go into the pit um once we've done everything we've, we've had to do we've got our we've been refueled got a new rear tire on then um yeah just before we come out of the pit i'll be able to to do what i need to do and i'll try and uh cut the pause out as best as i can so it doesn't affect the video too much doing all right so far not crashed yet which is a big bonus we're not even caught the way through the first lap though so we've still got a long way to go just on this first lap but um the good thing is we are extending our lead at the moment which i'm happy about because when i've just done it sections just random sections in career mode i haven't actually been that quick um, and i have struggled doing those races not really um been able i think i only won about one or two of the races the rest of them i, I have really struggled so i'm hoping that we can win this we're all using the same bike. We're all using the Suzuki. So, yeah. I, I've also, because um, you can't buy any upgrades for the classic bikes, but you can change the overall final gear ratio. Um, that basically just affects all the gear ratios. You can't do them individually, but you can just do the final ratio. So I've made all the gears longer, basically. So we've got a better top speed. Than, uh, than what we normally do because I think obviously when we're on the flat out sections that's going to really help with our our times so 
that's pretty much all I've done bike setup wise um, yeah that's, that's pretty much it I haven't really fiddled with anything else so yeah like I said I hope you guys are strapped in hope you got yourself a beverage maybe something to eat because uh, yeah this is going to be a, a long old race and yet if I do go quiet you know got to concentrate it is a long long circuit so yeah just got to try and remember it because there is going to be sections that I've not actually played in this game at all um, obviously played in the first game but I don't know if they're going to be slightly different maybe just cosmetically but um, yeah I've not been around the whole of this this track yet on this game but yeah so far so good we, we've gone over a quarter of the way around the lap and I've not crashed yet so I consider that pretty good at the moment I just got to remember to, to pit as well because uh, otherwise we will end up running out of fuel someone actually said to me in the comment section on the last video I think it was that uh, if you do a lap and pause and exit the race you can then resume the race from where you left left off and I've noticed going around the track every now and again like the the saving symbol comes up in the bottom right hand screen of the, of the, of the screen um, so I'm guessing it's obviously keeping my progress saved whilst we're doing this so far so good nearly halfway round the first lap open up again in a minute and we'll go flat out again but not too confident around these sections at the moment okay cool oh no oh. look I didn't really do anything wrong there to be honest that was a weird a weird bump that just don't know what happened there that was really weird that's a similar crash to what I had um, around the the circuit of Ireland when I went over a bump and the bike was just like nah I'm good I don't want to grip anymore so first crash it's fine I'm still in the lead at the moment that's the main thing I mean obviously I'm setting out to try and win this race but oh what happened there? I think it hit a bump and then it just made my bike veer off to the right. That was weird. So, so that's two weird crashes I've had now. We've uh, lost a lot of time as well. I can see them on the minimap now that they are closing in. That's enough of crashes this lap, thank you very much. Oh, again, N did nothing wrong going over that bump. Well, this is going to become annoying, isn't it? I think I'm going to have to start slowing down for, for the bumps because they're still dodgy in this game by the looks of it. Not good. Three crashes on the first lap. We are really being caught now. We may have lost the lead, actually. may have lost I expect we have lost the lead because they are pretty close we're over halfway through the lap I remember this bit I want to see what the next split is but I'm pretty sure we've lost the lead now slow corner coming up Is. There we go, right. 
So what's it saying? Are we still in the lead? No, we're not. We're one and a half seconds off of the lead at the moment. All right, well, we've got some work to do, but that's what I was kind of worried about because there's going to be sections that I don't really know so well and I'm not that strong on these slower sections, which uh, is not ideal. But yeah, three weird crashes. So yeah, it does seem that on the uh, the actual mountain course itself, the uh, this game still does have its random crashes. Not as bad as the first game though. I'm not going around every corner with the rear trying to overtake me like it was in the first game, but... Yeah. Annoying. I mean, that third crash, I was like going over that bump straight as well. I don't really know how the hell we managed to crash. Well, I was lucky with that. I That was more luck than judgement and I, that I actually got the bike stopped for that corner because uh, I didn't really know where I was meant to be braking there. Definitely haven't done this section in this game. Obviously done it on the first game, but... I know when we get out onto the ma mountain section, I know that we're getting towards the end of the lap. So, Gooseneck, I think, is about... I don't think it's that far away, actually. It's about uh, three quarters of the way around the course. Got half a second lead, so we're back in the lead now by half a second. Oh. Yeah, the gooseneck is coming up. Okay, so it's just under three quarters of the way around. I do find that um, that circle around the mini map actually quite helpful with it filling up showing you how far around the lap you are. I know we've got obviously how many miles we've still got to do, so we've got over 11 to go. But it's nice to know just visually you know, how far through this lap we're doing. How are we doing on fuel? Not too bad at the moment. Hopefully we're on target. So we definitely won't be pitting on the first lap. We pit them on the second lap. I mean, technically, our, our last lap should realistically be our quickest lap because obviously first lap is standing start. Second lap, I'll be entering the pit before we even get to the start finish. Third lap, I will be in the pit and past the start finish. So I'll be starting from the pit. So yeah, the fourth lap is the only lap I'm going to be doing um, without stopping anywhere so my last lap should realistically be my fastest lap but it depends on the crashes I've actually already forgotten some of the places I've already crashed on this lap I'm not going to lie I know there was a couple of places just after the little village the other one was just a bump in a straight line. Okay. So we are getting towards the end of our first lap now. Less than eight miles to go. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. We are looking alright at the moment three crashes on the first lap we momentarily lost the lead but now we're 11 and a half seconds ahead again so we managed to open it back up which I'm a little bit surprised at oh well that was a moment on the brakes then 
I panic on that corner because that corner always used to catch me out in the first game. Always. So, uh, yeah, I panicked a little bit there and uh, you don't want to panic brake on a bike. This one always catches me out as well because it's like two corners, but it looks like one on the map. Oh, we're nearly done with the first lap. My first full lap of the game. It had to be during that actual TT race. I know that there was a race where I could have done one lap around here, but... Never mind. Dive in at the deep end, obviously. And the part I used to have troubles with on the first game was the last few corners when it really, really tightens up. See, that, that bump was fine. Went over there, right? Couldn't do that earlier, could you? was a bump as well. Just trying to learn where, where the bumps are in this game because obviously some of them are gone from the first game. Some of them have been smoothed out. And some of them, as we've already found out, are horrible. 29 and a half second lead at the moment, so... I'm starting to get a bit more confident now and feeling like, you know, we might actually be able to win this. Right, okay, so now it's going to start slowing down a little bit. Especially in a minute when we get to the really, really tight corners, which, uh, yeah. I remember in the first game getting all the way to this next uh, right-hander. Or it might have been the left afterwards, which is still quite a tight corner. It might have been this one, actually, and it ended up crashing. I was like, oh, for God's sake, like, done all that work, almost in a full lap, and I ended up crashing at the last possible place. Anyway, we're about to finish our first lap of the TT course on the game. There's the flags, there's a pit entrance as well, so there we go. Oh, we've got an achievement, what's that? A mountain to climb. Well, there we go. Confirmation. That is my first full lap of the uh, the Snowfell TT course. So we've got it all to do again. Three more times, including this one. But at the end of this one, we got to go into the pit. Actually, I'm a little bit concerned. My fuel gauge looks like it's just under halfway we've only just started the second lap I hope we don't run out on this lap you can't tell me I need to hit on every lap because that would just be that just won't work I'm sure it'll be fine I'm sure it'll be fine done one lap we've got one lap under our belts I know roughly where to look out for on this lap for the bumps so I'll try and take them a little bit slower and hopefully we will get through in one piece this time
27.9 second lead at the moment. Okay, yes, it's fine. We're doing all right. But this is probably the section of the track. The first couple of sections are probably the sections I know the most in this game. bike you're gonna behave yourself this time over all the bumps and that if you would that would be great if not then we got a big lead so it doesn't matter too much oh nearly into the grass bank there Come on, we got it stopped just in time there. That was uh, lucky. thing I don't want to do is end up getting too overconfident so that's when it all starts going completely wrong so 34.8 second lead we've got at the moment that's obviously good news for me I am a bit concerned about the fuel gauge though. Just over a quarter of a tank left and we're not even halfway through this lap. That is not looking good. keep an eye on that fuel because yeah that's it's not looking great is it fuel wise I'm not even halfway around this lap and it's almost on quarter of the tank have I got anything in reserve Can I run an empty for a little bit or is it literally as soon as it, you run out of fuel that's it Five second lead. I love that corner. That left hander. If you get it right, it's a good corner. Okay, we're getting towards the, the place where I crashed last time, so at the end of the, uh, the village then I know that I need to back off just a little bit just to try and get over those bumps without crashing. Don't want to be doing that. Forty second lead now. Okay, we're getting towards the bumps. This is one. We've got over there fine. The other one. 
it was a right hander wasn't it and my bike just kind of veered off to the right is it this next right here yeah I think it was took it wider that time so we, we got past the, the places where I crashed last time see learning all the time I've got to remember where that other bump was as well. And I was on a fast park. Okay. See, I thought if anywhere I'm going to be crashing there going over the bridge, but that one's actually all right. Nearly halfway through this lap. My fuel gauge has gone on red. Oh. Was it that was the was that the bump that we just gone over there? Cause if it was, we went over there no problem. Bizarre. Still a 40 second lead. I am very concerned about the fuel now. It's on red. It's less than quarter of a tank and we've got just under half a lap to go. Hmm. Surely we, we've got to make it for two laps, surely. Why would they give you a bike where you can't do two laps? over 16 miles to go fuel's not looking great um, I don't know what's going to happen here don't know what's going to happen here why do I feel nervous <laughs> Right, let's just keep let's just keep going. Let's worry about it later. Still got way to go. It's gonna be in the back of my mind though. Forty-four second lead, so we're still pulling away. coming up be getting to the goose next soon as well In some corners he just doesn't seem to want to lean that's better Hairpin coming up. Okay, around we go. Oh. oh, you stupid man. Okay, that one was definitely my fault. The camera seems to go a bit weird when you crash, it seems to like move further away. crashed again. Come on, sort yourself out. Please be okay, fuel. Please be okay. I don't want to run out. Oh, just matter if I ran out like coming out the final corner. Oh, don't even say that. 
don't even say that. <laughs> it doesn't bear thinking about. It's getting really low. Got just over a quarter of a lap to go. 38 second lead. That's obviously come down because I had a crash. Just over 10 miles to go. Come on, fuel. Please make it. Please. Might just make it. Yeah, no, no. That was so close. I'm really paranoid. I'm really paranoid about my fuel. If we make it, then I know I don't have to worry about it. We can just finish the rest of the race without having to worry about it. Remember also on, on the first game, when you were doing a race around here, after a while this sound started messing up. It, it was really weird. The sound just started going all funny. And luckily, so far so good, I've not had any issues with the track not loading and then just falling through the the world like some people have had not actually had any trouble with that fingers crossed we don't get that trouble okay oh look how low the fuel is don't you dare run out on me Less than five miles to go. Come on. Please. Please, 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 please. Make it. Make it. It's nearly on empty. It is. Look how low that fuel is. You better make it. You better bloody make it. 46 second lead. Come on. You have to make it. You have to. Bike, just, just take little sips. Take little sips. You don't need a lot. It's fine. Don't be greedy. Just, just sit. You can make it last. Savor the taste of the of the fuel. Please. Got less than two miles to go. Come on, 
you're fine fuel you're fine got less than a mile to go don't you even think about doing it now 22 second lead round you go come on round you go careful out of here because I've crashed here before okay yes it's 10 meter pit anyway we're going to make it we're going to make it to the pit right we don't want to speed so we need to slow down come on okay that's fine it's fine there we go yeah we're in we're in we're pitting we're pitting okay fuel me up wipe my screen so all the bugs are gone watch me shake my head see the birds flying over as well it's a bit of a weird camera angle to do it in isn't it is that because they didn't want to animate someone changing the rear wheel is that why we're in this camera angle so fuel is fine it's going up it's going up. Rear wheel looks like it's been changed. Gonna have to go careful though because the tyres are gonna be cold. Everything is gonna be cold, so we're gonna have to go careful. Fuel man, you're nearly done. Don't forget to shake your end no more than three times though, please. Ready to go. 49 second lead. Take a breather. Okay time to go so lap three of four nearly crashed already lap three of four gonna have to go careful I was trying to say I was gonna have to go careful because of my cold tyres example A I'm not even crashing going around corners apart from the hairpin. Um, it's literally just going over the bumps. Right, well, we don't have to worry about fuel. I know that. We can make it with the fuel that we've got now. So we're fine for fuel. Front tyre may become an issue towards the end, but it's fine at the moment. Rear tyre's obviously been changed, so that's fine. We're fine. Lap three. Lap three or four. We can do this. We've got a nice big lead. We don't have to panic too much obviously when we get to the end of this season we will do another probably the super sport TT and then the following season obviously super bike and then at some point the senior TT as well so we'll Hopefully we will do all of them at some point. Yeah, considering obviously decided to go it alone this season and not sign any official contracts. Just doing my own thing. It's working out right at the moment.
it hasn't gone too badly. I know I've crashed a few times, but I'm doing better than I thought I was going to do, if I'm honest. I thought I was really, really going to struggle, but we're out front and we've got a huge lead, which I wasn't expecting. Getting towards quarter of the way through the third lap. The thing I've got in my mind now is that all these corners we're going through. I'm just thinking to myself, just got to do this one more time in this race. Oh, oh, yeah, just got to do this all one more time. Yeah, final lap, like I said, should be my quickest lap overall because we won't be uh, any stoppages at all. Unless I crash, of course, that would be the only ones. Yeah, feeling a little bit more confident. Obviously, we've got two laps under our belt now. just obviously going to be very wary about the bumps that's probably my, my main enemy around this this course at the moment is the bumps oh like that one there we go right on cue didn't crash there the last two laps did i the story watch out for the bumps the bumps are not your friends so we've got a 48 second lead so it's fine even when we're crashing, we're not really losing too much time. But we're over a quarter of the way through the third lap. So, now I know where I've got to look out for at the end of this little section. Oh. So it's this left. Yeah, nearly. The, the bike tried. The bike tried to go sideways, going over the uh, that little jump, and then it's this right-hander. Well, we got through it. This split is going to be it's over 50 seconds yet. Thought it was going to end a bit too uh, a bit too quick there, but we're fine. 
nearly halfway. So we've basically got one and a half laps to go. And we've been going for over 45 minutes. See that again that jump was fine this time. What was it about the, the first lap that I didn't like? Was it even that, that that little jump? Was it a different one? I don't know. Oh, still not a 50 second lead yet, but it's fine, it's fine. We're over halfway. I don't really need to look at the fuel gauge anymore. It was that jump, wasn't it? It was that one. We actually landed and then the bike decided to, to die. <sighs> it's literally the only thing, apart from the hairpin, um, that I seem to be crashing on. It's the bumps! Someone give this track a good iron. But then you could argue it would lose its characteristic. Obviously, don't iron it in real life, just in the game. You just slightly tweak the physics so that the bike's not doing weird things. So it's not been a great lap, this one. It's not been a great lap at all. I get my confidence up and then we have a crash on a bump and now I'm like where, where, where are the rest of the bumps I'm gonna have to go a little bit easy so that we don't crash over the buggers Remember the hairpin. Don't do... No! Oh! That was my own fault. For some reason I just decided not to... To lean very much. Right. Don't do the stupid thing around here again, please. I'm just talking to myself there because I've done the stupid thing last time. We got around there fine. It's fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. the gooseneck getting towards the last quarter of this lap then we got one lap to go nearly in the grass. Oh, 
Oh, no. Oh, for God's sake, Robbo, what are you doing? That was my fault. Again, I just failed to steer. Well, we've definitely lost loads of time on this lap. Not been a good lap at all. So that's maybe three of the crashes that I've had so far that have actually been my fault. The rest have just been the, tr the combination of track and bike just being like, we don't want to work together. So we've done over 50 minutes so far. We'll be hitting the one hour mark very soon. Nine minutes time. Got less than 10 miles to go. Less than quarter of a lap to go. And then just one last lap. One last lap. Let's try and make it a good one. I need to make it a good one because it's going to be my best lap. Unless I have about 20 crashes, which, oh, that was lucky. Good job there was a little lay-by there. Front doesn't feel too bad at all. Front is still doing what the front needs to do. Rear tyre still fine, apart from going over the bloody bumps, but other than that, it's fine. Still got over a 40 second lead though, considering we've crashed about a million times on this lap. Still doing alright. One lap to go after this one. It takes a lot of concentration doing doing this. I know it obviously takes more in real life. Five miles to go. I think my fuel's actually looking a little bit better than the end of lap one. We've actually got a little bit more in the tank than uh, what we did at this time on the first lap because it was like it's just over halfway at the moment and it was maybe just under halfway after the first lap so now that our, our fuel is going to be absolutely fine for the rest of the race we've got to worry One lap to go. Less than two miles to go on this lap. These bumps are going to be even worse on a super bike, aren't they? at the end, we're nearly at the end of this lap we have got over a 50 second lead again round we go round we go oh, a little help from the wall there right run to the line run to the flags flags. One lap to go. Final lap time. 
we are going to win the classic TT. Oh. Last lap. Okay, we made it over that uh, that bump there. Slowed down a little bit. So we didn't crash this time. Well, considering we've accomplished my first lap around the TT course on this game and my first race around this course on this game, I don't think we've done too bad. Obviously, lots of areas to improve in. But yeah, it hasn't been too bad at all. Six second lead, We're just over 56 minutes on the clock. Yes, yeah, so there's quite a few places I need to look out for now. I don't know what that split was trying to tell me there. Keep it going, keep it going. side of the bike on the ground. All these corners at the moment. This is the last time we have to do these in this race. I'm happy about because uh, yeah we've got over a minute lead just want this race over with now then but 
we stayed on. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Eleventh milestone. Right, we're over the one hour mark as well. Through the corner I like. That was close, that was close there. It was very close. Okay, if we cut Michael. Again, I'll take it easy when we come out of here. So go careful through this left. That was fine, didn't even have any issues that time. And then uh, it's just the next slight right. This one, yeah, we, we were fine taking a nice wide lo wider line as well, which helped. Okay, nearly halfway through the final lap, got a 1 minute 14 second lead. We are going to win, it's going to happen. Something terrible would have to happen now for me not to win. I remember the first time on the first game coming up to the bridge and I didn't stop in time. Crashed straight into the building. <laughs> oh, we made it over, we made it over, we made it over. But it's not that one, is it? It's the next, the next one, wherever the hell that is already forgotten where it is it's the next one which has caused me some aggro in this race okay, no 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 <sighs> I even slowed down going on the curb there and it's literally trying to come back on track down we go first crash of this lap as well So we're not going to do this race without doing a lap without crashing. The main thing is getting that win. That's the main thing. Did you see that then? Did you see the bike just like go completely sideways? And I don't mean sideways as in the back stepping out, I mean literally the whole bike almost completely went like sideways. And I've had that happen to me in the first person camera and the amount of times I thought I was crashing but it's just a weird thing that happens every now and again. And that's what happened on the first lap when the bike veered off into the uh, the right hand side and then caused me to crash.
Okay, so hairpin. Go careful. Go careful. Get round it. Get round it. Yeah, fine, fine, fine. Okay, so nearly just quarter of the lap to go. I can start to relax a little bit now because the end is in sight. The end is nigh. We are nearly there. We are nearly finished with the classic TT. Through the gooseneck for the final time. Finish strong. Let's get this done. Get it in the bag. I'll be a happy man to win this. I've lost count of how many crashes I've actually had. Quite frankly, I don't want to know. One is too many. Some of them are literally just can't be helped four minute 17 leads quarter of a lap to go and I can breathe a sigh of relief less than 10 miles to go as well We are getting towards the end. When you start these races, it it feels like the race is going to go on forever. But, if I'm honest, because you have to concentrate quite hard, it goes by pretty quickly. Quicker than I thought it would, anyway. setting off I was like this is literally going to take forever to do this race but uh, time's gone by quite nicely doesn't feel like we've almost done 70 minutes we've gone over an hour no one's come past us obviously because uh, we're leading by a huge margin despite the fact on one point on lap one we did momentarily lose the lead but ever since we got it back that's, that's it we've uh, just led from uh, that point ok five miles to go we're over 17 minutes in Nearly done. This video is going to take such a long time to upload to YouTube. But hopefully it'll be worth it. Oh! That was lucky. Seventy one minutes. Less than three miles to go now. We're nearly there. We're nearly at the end. You can see the light at the end of the tunnel.
two miles to go. Careful now. One and a half. Got over a one and a half minute lead. Got the bike stopped. Oh, no, you tosser. Ah, why did I do that? We've got less than. Well, we've got half a mile to go. get through these last few corners and then we're going to be done round get round get round get round thank you right out of it don't wheelie careful go just go we are finished Oh, game, please don't tell me you've frozen. No, you're fine. Oh, don't scare me like that. That would have been all that hard work down the drain. So, 17 minutes and 39 seconds. Average speed, 124 miles an hour. We're done. We've done it. Traditionalist. We won the classic TT in career mode. We're done. We've done it. Four laps. Classic TT completed rising star won 20 races feels like i've done more than 20 well i have done more than 20 races just haven't won them all oh okay i need a break i need a rest that took a lot thank you name the winner of the classic tt new challenges in the irish challenge zone uh everything's going well on his on on his side that's fine found a new sponsor and we've won two grand is that all we got all right anyway guys i'm gonna leave this video here thank you so much for watching don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed it subscribe to my channel for more content and i shall see you guys in the next video it won't be as long as this video though see you don't forget to wash your hands